Kawhi, you know, Kawhi obviously has some great battles with LeBron in, in games like the finals. Uh, How does it feel to play alongside him, and how well do you think you got, your guys' skill sets complement each other? Um, <clears throat> he's a willing passer. Uh, I'm a willing passer. We both want to win. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, you know, us having that uh, mindset of, uh, you know, just want to accomplish a goal. Um, we can always, like, mesh and be on the court with someone. Well, uh, you've obviously faced off against Steve Kerr teams in the past in the finals and the season. What's it like to be coached by him in the center? Uh, I mean, it's different. Um, you know, now I'm on his side and, uh, you know, just seeing how he coaches in his locker room, I guess, uh, it's probably a little different just because, um, you know, the, the stardom that's uh, at USA, but um, he's been pretty good. He's been implementing uh, some of the Warrior sets, uh, some out of bounds sets that, uh, that they have, and uh, you can see, uh, you know, why they've been good so, for so long. We talked to you today about your makeup and uh, how are you feeling after now several days of practice and uh, being so far away from the Olympics still, do you think you'll be able to, or that you will play some tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'll play some little tomorrow. Um, I mean, everything's been good so far. Uh, it's been at this uh, initial state. Um, you know, I'll face that goal. Stay true to yourself. Uh, you know, make sure you don't you know, skip no days on your rehab and uh, stay patient. And uh, you know, that's all you can do. Uh, and whatever happens, happens. Uh, don't leave no regrets. Uh, you know, throughout your rehab, make sure you take care of yourself. All right, we we'll go here and then here. Go ahead. You've waited a long time for this opportunity. So far, what has been special about it? And as you get ready to head to Paris, what are you most looking forward to besides the obvious of winning a gold medal? Uh, just competing with these guys. Uh, obviously, uh, seeing the city of Paris, um, watching the other uh, Olympic Games, uh, rooting for USA, and uh, that's pretty much it. Does, does having your coach at the Clippers make you a little extra special to share this Olympic journey with him and him with you? Uh, it makes the transition a lot easier for me, and uh, you know, if we be able to reach the uh, gold medal and uh, win it, uh, it's going to be very special. Okay, we'll go here and then here. Go ahead. Why? Also, the other day it was important for him to talk to you before making a decision, and you gave him his blessing. It was important. We also said he's a little sad leaving you. For you, you guys came together. Have you thought about what it's going to be like without Paul moving forward? No. I mean, we know what it was before the season, so. Uh, know what it was going to come down to. So we talked the whole way through. Um, no surprise. Well, you put a pretty classic rivalry at college with Jimmy Fouquet. Your careers have kind of gone a different way since you were leaving back here in Las Vegas, but he was on the 3 out 3 team in the U.S. for the Olympics. He's making a lot of debut. What are your thoughts kind of on the rivalry you guys had and his making his debut this year? I don't think much about the college days no more, but, um, you know, I, I'm happy that uh, he's able to, you know, play a third on three. And, um, you know, he was a hell of a player back in the day. Uh, pitched us very hard, and, um, you know, I wish him the best. We'll do one more here, and then let Kawhi go. How much the you next three days about getting Huh? Next season, not being here. How much will fall on you to beat the team? I'm going to be on the court, so. Oh. so. How much will be on me to beat the team? The same like it was last year. It don't change.